Hi, welcome. I am currently working at a roadhouse 2.5 hours away from Darwin in a remote area. In my opinion, working in a roadhouse during your work and travel year is one of the best ways to save up money for your future travels. So how did I get this job? I found it through MLKA Hospitality, a recruitment agency. I was only able to get this job because I had a reference on my CV from a past workaway experience. Without references, I'm not sure if you're able to get a job like this. I don't have a car. How did I get to this remote area? I took the Greyhound bus to a destination as close to the roadhouse as possible. And after that, I was picked up by a staff member of the roadhouse. I live in a house here that I share with a roommate. I have my own room and I share the kitchen and the bathroom and the living area with another girl who works here. What are typical tasks that I have to do here? Take a look.
you see most tasks are fairly easy and also easy to learn now on to the most important question how much do I earn here I got my paycheck here so on casual normal days I earn 26 point zero three dollars per hour after 7 p.m. on casual days I earn 28 point three dollars on Saturdays I earn thirty one dollars and twenty three cents no matter what time it is and on Sundays I earn thirty six point forty four dollars so after two weeks of working here I earned one thousand nine hundred ten and ninety eight dollars working at a roadhouse is really a very good opportunity to save up money because you don't get to spend it here on top of that I pay ninety dollars for the accommodation and meals after a shift so I hardly spend any money on food too. The negative aspects of working here are that you are basically doing the same things day in, day out. You might get bored easily. After five weeks, I'm at a point where I'm telling myself I don't want to go there anymore that's why I decided to travel again but if you're resilient and you really need money for your future travels then you will be able to stay here for three months or even more there is another point that I found to be annoying and which made me a little bit angry it's the fact that you are just a traveler you are just a backpacker so people will not trust you right away they will observe you very well to make their own picture of you to see if you are trustworthy if you are a good worker or if you just want to take advantage of them but you know this is normal if foreign people came to your place to work for a couple of months the tone is also very harsh here so if you make a mistake people will point it out right away and not necessarily telling you that in the nicest way possible you have to have a thick skin but if you tell yourself that this is just a job for a short time period in your life you can deal way better with this also prepare yourself to not be treated fairly there are people who have been here longer than you and they will have certain privileges they might get more hours in the beginning than you because they know how things work and you're still a learner I really had my difficulties accepting that that another person who has seemingly the same position as I have just has 20 hours more in two weeks I just didn't understand why that was and it also didn't change after two weeks didn't change after three weeks didn't change after four weeks and not after five weeks and after five weeks I was still treated as a newbie that still needs to learn and I really had a hard time accepting that but this is just my human nature I told people about my concerns and I found out that you know I'm not in the position to say those things because I'm just a traveler nevertheless I was able to save up some money and now I can move on and I'm so excited to see what I will do next. Thank you for watching and have a nice, nice day!
Schaut euch das an. Das Fenster ist voller Insekten im Northern Territory.